You want to support Roller March Unfiltered? Be sure to join our Bring the Funk fan club. Every dollar that you give to us supports our daily digital show. There's only one daily digital show out here that keeps it black and keep it real as Roller Martin Unfiltered. Support the Roller Martin Unfiltered daily digital show by going to rollermartinunfiltered.com. You can make this possible. Folks, let's go to South Carolina where the white army non-commissioned officer who was caught on video assaulting a black man. He is now out of jail. He was released on a personal recognizance bond, Jonathan Pitlin. He was charged with third-degree assault. He's only facing a maximum of 30 days in jail and a $500 fine. Uh, Of course, earlier this week, uh, the video went viral of him threatening a black man who was simply walking in their neighborhood. Since the video went viral, hundreds of people have flooded the neighborhood of protests in front of, not just in front of their home, in their yard. Uh, Last night, it got so bad that the Richland County deputies were called to the neighborhood shortly after 8 p.m., and the officers escorted the Pentland family from the home to another location. Uh, You know what, Brittany? I don't really feel sorry for them, because if you did not accost the young brother who was simply walking the neighborhood, you wouldn't have all this heat and attention on your ass now. Feel sorry for him at all. I mean, quite frankly, I'm like, it must be nice after you have been the perpetrator, you have done something wrong to our community that you still get to have a private escort. We don't get that type of treatment. I was just happy to see that, you know, so many people in the community came out to go in front of his house and to continue to protest and make sure and ensure that something was done after this happened. Um, but I don't I don't feel bad for this for this man at all. And quite frankly, um, I think it speaks once again to the the political, you know, the ideologies of the people that work for the state seeing as though he was an army sergeant. Yeah, um, Greg Carr, I'm good. So guess what? If you um, catching heat, you brought it all on yourself. Well, you know what's funny, Roland? I'm thinking about that. You know, a lot of good friends in, in, in Columbia at the time. That, you know that Columbia, South Carolina is the uh, original home of the Citadel where the South Carolina legislature put that money in the legislature in the wake of the Denmark Vesey Rebellion. And, of course, Denmark Vesey was an original member of what became Mother Emanuel Miami Church, where Dylan Roof, who is safe and sound in jail instead of dead, uh, is, uh, you know, went in there and killed, killed a black folk. When I look at a guy like that, a Jonathan Pentland, uh, as you say, Brittany, we wouldn't get in this escort. My question is, where are they taking you? Are they going to take you on base now? You and your family can kind of relax and chill and, you know, you'll see what's going on. You know, you should feel the terror that we feel. And uh, so you you need to sell that house. Uh, you need to never be comfortable on that block again. And all the folks who are protesting, y'all should just leave now and wait till they come back. Then come back. Because I see how you see how they came out the side of their mouth with the young brother was involved in other incidents, but that's not relevant to this. Well, why the hell did you say it then? No, we're going to start policing y'all in the true spirit of Denmark Vesey. Except ain't no Citadel going to save you, brother. Wherever you going, we there too. And I I hope, uh, Amisha, that uh, the U.S. Army takes action against him as well. I I agree with you 100%, Roland. My frustration here extends in multiple directions. First and foremost, this guy was a, he presented himself as as a threat, as a danger to someone who was simply walking down the sidewalk. Someone who he was outsized. He was literally at least two times the size of the guy who he, who would have been his potential victim. He was trying to invoke fear. My issue here is that had that, the role been reversed and this was a black guy and you know, him and the white guy could have been of the same size and stature. At the end of the day, when that black guy got locked up, his bail would have been set a lot higher. He wouldn't have been released within 24 hours. There would have been real charges. I have an issue here with how this was actually handled after reports were made as well. Not only is this guy receiving access protection, which is taxpayer funded, but he is also someone who's um, who whose crimes committed aren't necessarily matching the pattern of the justice that is supposed to be served. Again, it is this is not a colorblind system because. Hit the risk assessment tool, risk, his level of risk is higher considering what he just showed that he had the capability of doing. And had there not been people to watch it, had there not been a video, who knows what he would have done. All right, folks, back to our Roland Martin Unfiltered video in just one moment. It's time to be smart. When we control our institutions, we win. We win. 
This is the most important news show on television of any racial background. Y'all put two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, thirty dollars on this and keep this going. What you've done, Roland, since this crisis came out in full bloom. Anybody watching this, tell your friends. Go back and look at the last two weeks, especially of Roland Martin Unfiltered. I mean, hell, go back and look at the last two days. You've had sitting United States senators today, Klobuchar and Harris. Whatever you have that you have, you can bring to Roland Martin Unfiltered to support it. Please do, because this information may literally save your life. Watch Roland Martin Unfiltered daily at 6 p.m. Eastern on YouTube, Facebook, or Periscope, or go to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Support the Roland Martin Unfiltered Daily Digital Show by going to RolandMartinUnfiltered.com. Our goal is to get 20,000 of our fans contributing 50 bucks each for the whole year. You can make this possible. RolandMartinUnfiltered.com.